Okay, so some viewers asked me um, their concerns about the giant mamba coming in and out of these scabbards and uh, blunting the knife. Okay, so maybe I didn't explain this in the review properly to begin with. This is not the giant member, but it's exactly the same scabbard, the same system. This is the DMP. So to take it out, sure, you just press this uh, lever and it comes out straight away. Okay. Now when you go to put this thing in, back into here, it, it does in fact rub slightly against this piece of plastic, but that's like with all scabbards. And, and if you don't, you see that there, that's not going to, you've got to massage this thing in like that. You know, this is like just no different to a, a leather scabbard that you make sure that you don't cut the welt which is down here if you put the knife into a leather scabbard and you're continually pushing it over like this right you're going to cut the welt and damage the stitching so when this goes in it's just it goes in guides in like this goes in really quickly it's designed like that and then you have to like just you know lift it up a bit like this that's it and that's it and so sure it rubs against the plastic but it's no more than you know any other knife rubbing against leather or whatever, or dragging side onto the codex, but I certainly have never found with this. You'd expect then that this to be getting blunt here on this part of the knife, and it's the same for my giant member, it doesn't, you know, this is, you know, razor sharp, because you want this part of the knife really sharp here and here, better to have this really deadly sharp and that, than have the whole knife blunt or whatever, or, you know, and not, because this is where you, for, at least for bushcraft work, or even not bushcraft work, you're going to apply a lot of force if you're trying to cut ropes or something like that there, so... There you go, just thought I'd show that, so just into the scabbard and that's it, it's as simple as that, out, in, like that, so simple, okay, thanks for watching Bush Camping Tools here.